Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Long Dark. It's been a very long time since I played this game, and I am very excited to bring it back, and I hope you guys are excited to watch. So, we are going to be playing the first episode of the storyline that we have been waiting for for quite some time. It's been out for a very long time. I'm assuming a lot of you have already played it and seen it and know, knows what's going on. I have stayed completely in the dark. Huh, pun intended. Completely in the dark about this game. I have not seen the storyline. I have not seen any spoilers or anything like that. So, with that said, we are going to give it a shot. And we are going to play Winter Mute. The first episodic story to the long dark. Episode 1... Do not go gentle. Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after their plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse. Let's get started. All right. I think this is shortly after our plane crash here. Kenzie. Oh, I know that sound. I know that heartbeat. That means you're close to death. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Oh, man. That looks like it hurts. Jesus. All right, let's go ahead and pull this. Oh, God. Here we go. Come on. Oh, that's not pretty. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's that's going to hurt for a while. That's going to be an issue. Oh, man. The long dark. It feels so good to be back in this game. shelter from this wind. All right, let's find some shelter. Let's go ahead and quickly see if we can check our status here. We got blood loss from the plane crash injury and plane crash injury fall, so we're not doing very good. Oh, man. This is the... Oh, it looks like we were in a uh, seaplane. Oh, this is what what's left of a seaplane. I got to turn down the sensitivity on my mouse. All right, there we go. Box. Uh, do we want to break it down? Sure, let's break it down. I think we're going to need it for firewood or for tinder or something. Anything else around here? Let's just take everything we can get. Oh, man. Yeah. We crashed in a very terrible... I'm surprised we're alive. I'm surprised we're... Oh, yes. Firewood and search first aid kit. Yes. Oh. Oh. There we go. Bandage. Antibiotics. Bandage. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and treat our, uh, our blood loss here. Okay, let's apply a bandage to the chest. For the fall, and let's apply another bandage Back. to our hand. Oh, oops. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. Injury to the hand here. We're still got that going. So let's see if maybe we can uh, let's see what we can do here. Do we take antibiotics? Let's go ahead and take antibiotics. I feel like we're gonna need that. Come on. All right. Let's put... Oh, great. Is this where we want to go? Oh, no. Okay. Um, is this a... No? Yeah, we're going to want to go through this. Oh, God. This is not good. It's very dark in here. Overly dark in here. Oh, 
Oh, man. This is not good. Oh. Okay. Well, it doesn't go very far. That's where it stops. All right. Well, that's good. I was hoping that it wasn't going to be a super deep cave. I definitely wasn't looking forward to doing that. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and try to start a fire if we can. Can we put it further in here, or is it only going to be on the bones? Had it green for a minute. Let's go ahead and put it right here. Okay. Let's see. Chance of success. 75%. Come on. Come on. We can do this. This would really this would be a very bad time to fail on starting a fire. Come on. 75%, that's pretty good. But is it good enough? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it worked. Yes. Oh. That's all I have in me. I need to lay down before I fall down. Yeah, let's... Yes. Let's lay down. Need some rest. Day two. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more energy today. The fire's out. We gotta get some water. Go and check on, on our status here. We're dehydrated. We're pretty hungry. We're, uh, yeah, we're not doing great. I might be stuck more here firewood. Better see what I can use. Oh, yeah, no, we're probably gonna be here for a while, man. I'm just gonna collect just everything that I can see here. Looks like the fires put themselves out from the plane crash. That's good. Blood. That was probably us last night walking around, bleeding all over the place. Man. Oh, there's the plane. There's the plane. So we fell down here. Jesus. Wow. I'm really surprised we're alive. Let's see what we can do here. Looks like debris from the crash site above. Yeah. Uh yeah, let's break this down. We're gonna need this for firewood. Oh. Yes. Water purification tablets. Yes. Absolutely gonna need those. Oops. I keep forgetting to hold it down. <laughs> MRE. Yes, absolutely. That's gonna come in handy. Yeah, we're freezing. We really gotta get a fire going here. I'm gonna try to collect as much as I can before things go south, though. Oh, yes. We need all this. Disinf yes. Okay, disinfectant. I believe we can use that disinfectant to help our hand here. Where is it? Disinfectant. Where'd it go? Where are you? There you are. Go ahead and apply. Damn it. Gotta eat soon. Okay, that did not work, unfortunately. Okay, let's just look around this area. Let's see if there's anything that we need to push forward. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, we're not going that way. Doesn't look like we're going much of anywhere, really. I need some water. Okay, we're gonna get some water. Let's go back and start that fire now, actually. Because, uh, yeah, we need water real bad. Really, really bad. Can we collect some more sticks? Because I know those are... Oh, a branch. Break this down. We're gonna need them. We're gonna need all the sticks we can get. All right, let's go back to the fire. Let's if I don't warm up soon. try to start this. I know, man. I'm going. I'm trying. All right. 95% chance here. Our fuel. Okay. All right. Let's use the book to start the fire, and then we can keep... We can add some fuel from there. We're going to need to melt some snow, too. So 95%, we, this fire should be able to be started without any issues. Come on. Come on. Uh, 
Oh man, yeah. I'm I'm wondering if we're gonna have to like climb up to the plane or Are you no. Serious? Are you serious? Ninety five percent. Come on, we can do this. We can start this fire. Ninety five percent. We can do this. We did it at seventy five. No problems. Ninety five. Come on, we need water. Come on, we need water. Please, don't fail. Do not fail. Oh, okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and add fuel. All right. We got about an hour. Do we go for a full gallon? That seems risky. We're going for a full gallon. Ooh, that's taking a lot of time off the fire. Please don't go out. Please don't go out. Please don't go out. Oh, let's add fuel, 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 stick. There you go. There you go. <laughs> let's add all of them. I don't care. Let's add all of them. Wow. That was so close. All right. So the real question, do we want to boil it and keep the water purification tablets or do we want to just use the water purification tablets all right we got a two hour long fire here i'm just going to go and boil it so we can keep those tablets for later i know we're getting more and more dehydrated but we got to boil this water first otherwise it's just not gonna it's not gonna end well for us all right drink drink Oh, that's probably amazing. <sighs> okay. All right. So, here we go. We got to find something to eat uh, to keep our strength. That's our goal currently, to find something to eat. Not really sure what we're going to be able to find. Let's check our inventory. I mean, we have an MRE. I think we're just going to have to eat the MRE. Honestly, I don't think there's anything else we can do around here. <sighs> yeah, let's do it. We need it. Now's the time that you're, you're going to need something like an MRE, so might as well eat it now. It didn't even fill us up, so that's, yeah, definitely. Cut smarts. Better make sure it doesn't get infected. Okay, we got risk of infection here. All right, let's go ahead and use some of that, some of this again on the chest. Okay. All right. So we're doing all right. And we're resting up. Day three. Let's see if we're going to be able to get moving today. I'm going to need a good long fire to keep from freezing to death. Okay, good long fire. So let's go ahead and check the journal. Let's see. Build a fire in the cave that will last night. A nine hour long fire. Oh, this is going to be a big fire. This is going to be a big fire. All right, let's Get start breaking down hands. some. Oh, yeah, no, it's going to be cold, man. Getting colder. Oh, yeah, I you're that's. Fire would last the night. I know. I you're, I, I understand. We're, we're going to do the best we can. Let's take some of this, actually. Oh, we don't need any of these yet. Okay. That's fine. We're just... I guess it's just going to be sticks. I don't know if we're going to be able to get, like, a solid piece of wood here. Yes. Oh. Okay. I need more pieces of wood and not sticks. I mean, sticks are going to do, but firewood is where it's at. We need big pieces of firewood. Let's just scour really quick. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Another piece of firewood. Another stick. I'm going to try to avoid branches right now. Just there we go. We're finding firewood. We can do this. All right. Oh, another piece. And another stick. I'm going to go ahead and grab another branch. Oh, God. This is... Uh 
This is not as intense as the straight survival if you're in a position like the current status that I'm in now, but it's good enough that it's, yeah, you're going to need to definitely, definitely uh, think about what you're doing. I'm really interested in seeing how they're going to do it uh, later on in the story in terms of like survival and trying to get through the story at the same time because I, I can't imagine you'd make survival that difficult if you're also trying to or the yeah you can't make survival too difficult if you're trying to tell a story I don't know I don't know I guess we'll find out and you guys will have to definitely let me know if you want to see me continue to play this series because it's been a long time since I played this game on my channel and I know I've grown quite a bit since the last time I did and I'm really interested in seeing the kind of response it gets nowadays compared to uh, what it got when I was playing this pretty regularly. So if you guys are interested in me playing through the uh, the storyline, definitely, definitely let me know. Is that a piece of wood? Oh, it's a crate. Yes. We're going to have to go inside soon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Nope. It's just really dark. That's all. I thought I... Ooh. Okay. It's very windy out here, and I can't quite see. All right. Let's go back inside. There might have been something in that crate, or there might have not, but I, I just can't see. We need to get this fire going. It's so dark. The fire? Where's the fire? Can we use a match now? Can we use a match? I can't quite see. Where am I? Where am I? Oh. Okay, there it is. Okay, all right. Let's see, what can we do here? Looks like 75% is what we're gonna get. Can we raise it at all? Anything we can do? Nope, nothing. We could use the thing of accelerant. I think 75% is good enough. Let's just give it a shot. I'm really wondering if we're gonna have to go collect more branches or if this is gonna be enough. I'm Come hoping on. these big pieces of firewood that I found are really going to... Because I think they're an hour each, so that's at least, what, I got three of them? Four of them? Should have three, four hours there? But I got to make a nine-hour fire? Oh, man, that is... That's that's a long fire. In this game, that's a long fire. 75%, yes. Well, okay. Thank goodness for that. All right, we got an hour. Two hours, three hours, four hours, five and a half, six. Come on. Just keep throwing sticks. Come on, we're close. Fire Nine hours. Good. Oh. To warm up before I freeze to death. Oh, we did it. Oh, man. Okay, let's check the journal. Get your body temperature up. Warm yourself by the fire for a while. Oh. Wow. I can't believe we did it. Let's just crouch down. Let's just huddle by this fire. <laughs> oh man. That should last me through. The I don't night. know what I would do if this happened to me. I don't. I, in a winter environment, no way. No way you're surviving. Day four already. Wow. We're really going through the days. We're not getting much done. Never end. I need to find some food. All right. Find some food. Got 28 minutes left on this fire. I'm wondering if I should... Let's get it above two hours. There we go. We got a two hour fire now. Because if we catch some food... Crows. Okay. All right. Crows. Crows might indicate a dead body or something. Can you eat trees? Can you eat trees? I don't I don't think so. Where did this crate come from? This wasn't here before. Is there anything in there? No, just just reclaimed wood. There's some more crates. It must be fallen from up there. Yeah, I think oh I think yeah, it's the the plane might be in a different position. Maybe it's just pushing some crates down here. Either way, reclaimed wood, and I need it, so. Ooh, books. Yes. Books are really good for starting fires. OK. 
Okay. I see them up there. But where are they? Where could those... It was a hell of a storm last night. Blew that tree clean over. Oh, okay. Alright, I see. I see, I see. Climb this tree up over here. Oh, yep, look, there's a carcass. There's a deer carcass. That's gonna be our dinner. What is this? It's back. Oh. Oh, combination lock. Do I know the combination? Locked. Hmm. Mm, I guess I don't know the combination. Oh. Okay. Getting a cutscene here. There's Mackenzie. Playing some uh, solitaire. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport. Mackenzie speaking. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Wolfie. What are you talking about? It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Hmm. Uh. Hello, Will. Hello? What are you doing here? I don't know who you are, but hello. It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since. I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well. Oh, okay. What brings you? I mean, are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still okay. trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, hmm. questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you going to help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's Why do they the got to be Astrid? weird about it? No questions. Look. The weather out there is bad. Bad. But it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. <laughs> Astrid. Okay. You can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you going to take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. If she wants to go now? Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why, Why do does she want to go now? Talking about the weather. Because I'm not. We gotta get in that case. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's gonna be a rough ride. Yeah, I'm surprised you could even take off in that weather. Something. Okay, so they know each other. I don't know if they were, like, in a relationship or something, but I don't know. They know each other from somewhere but previously. Astrid was ready to die for it. Yeah, and she really, really wanted to get it there, so I'm very interested in seeing what's in that case. Alright. Let's collect some firewood. 
Oh. My coat. I can put my coat on. Um. I don't know where it is. Is it in my inventory? Where is it? Here we go. Oh, I gotta repair it. Oh, man. Can I do it? No, I don't have a repair kit. It's also frozen. Maybe I need to unthaw it first. Maybe I can't put a frozen coat on. Yeah, you want to climb that? Okay, well, hold your horses. I am I want to get in this backpack. It won't let me get in this backpack. There's something in that backpack. Okay, let's see if we can do anything with this carcass. This carcass could save my life. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Oh, the thing that was in my hand. That's great. Okay, so how much do we want to get? How, how much time do we want to spend out here? Do we want to get the whole thing and be greedy? It's 100% frozen for seven pounds. Uh, I think we, I think we need to. Let's do it. So cold. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna freeze. We are gonna freeze for sure. But we need that. All right. So we got some meat, which is good. We need to. Oh, that fire's probably gone. Yeah, it's gone. Shit. All right. Well, it's, we should be able to start it without any issues. I don't think I can get into that backpack. Should I climb this? Let's climb it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Great. All right. Yeah. Let's get some of these. Take it, please. I do. <laughs> yeah, no, I shouldn't have climbed that. At all. Alright, let's take some of this rose hip. I don't know if... Oh, I think we have to make some tea out of it. Okay. Can we get into this backpack now? No? Alright, so we're not climbing that. We'll save that for later. Let's just go ahead and get back. Let's start a fire. And let's uh, try to get some food in us. Make some tea if we can. And uh, we'll try to heal ourselves up a little bit here. Because, yeah, we're not we're not in the best way. We are not in the best way. I know, man. I'm trying. We're going to get you some first aid. Don't worry about it. All right, 95%. Let's go ahead and start another fire. We don't have much firewood. So we're going to do what we can. But we got to cook this meat up, we got to eat, we got to make some tea with this uh, rose hip. And then hopefully we'll be good to climb, because I'm sure we're trying to get back to that plane. That's what I'd be concerned about doing. But I wasn't sure, as soon as I, you know, he's trying to climb with that hand, and I think that's what caused us to fall. He's trying to grip with that hand, and with having that shard of metal through it, there's no way you're climbing anything. All right. Cedar firewood. Make ourselves a fire here. Cook it up. Oh, man. We're just going to cook everything we can while we have a fire. We're also probably going to make another... If we can do another... I don't think we can do another gallon. We can do maybe a half a gallon of water. We'll have to see, too, because I need to make that tea as well. Okay, but no food. Um, okay, let's do 0. 0.6 gallons. This is really going to eat the fire life away. All right, let's add some more fuel really quick. All right, let's boil this water. And then I believe, once we get this boiled water, we should be able to, well, let's eat real quick. Try to get some, uh, some energy back in us. And drink. 
rehydrate. I need to figure out how to make this tea here. Okay, there we go. Prepared rose hips. Okay. Go ahead and prepare that. And then I believe if we take this. Wait, nope. Hold on. Oh. May as well rest up. Don't no, we're not. Tomorrow will bring. No, what? No. Oh. Okay. My brain ankle is healed. I didn't even drink any rose hips. I didn't get the chance. Oh, oh man. Okay. I think I can climb out of here now. All right. I think we're feeling good enough that we can go ahead and climb out of this area now. So we're probably going to be leaving our little first area and hopefully we can climb ourselves back up to the plane. But before we do that, I'm going to end this episode here and leave you guys on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Get it? Cliffhanger? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's terrible. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> if you guys are interested in seeing more of the Long Dark campaign, please let me know in the comments down below. Or the easiest way is to hit the like button on this video. Best way to let me know you want to see more of this series. If you do enjoy it, I'll play more. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.